Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for checking out today's video. So I'm actually gonna film two in a row here. Um, in this video, we're gonna go through my Home Fragrance Empties part two for April, 2022. And the next upload you'll see from me is a hair, skin, and body care empties. My bin runneth over. So that's what we're doing. Thank you so much for stopping by. As I said, I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all enjoying all of the beautifully smelling things and that spring seems to be finally arriving. I mean, we're almost into May here and uh, it's finally starting to feel like there is an end in sight. Although we did have flurries here in Southern Ontario this week, <laughs> naturally. Welcome to Canada, um, but yeah. Let's just jump in. There's a fair amount of wax here. Um, so first up, let's just talk about the candle that I finished. One of my beloveds, the BBW Strawberry Pound Cake. This is an original. Um, this candle's in rough shape. There's a fair bit of wax on the bottom. I could actually throw this on a warmer. There are no scent notes on this candle because it's uh, a little bit older. As I said, this is an OG. This is from when they were first released um, and I did stock up. I fell in love with the scent very quickly when everyone else did. And I think I have two left in my collection of the originals. Sorry, I'm looking, I'm looking at my candle stash behind me. Maybe I only have one left. I don't know, doesn't matter. Um, they're keep, they seem to be keeping this candle around, so I'm not too concerned. Although I will say the original, um, was the best performer in my opinion. I mean, this candle is done and yeah, it smells like a burnt candle, but it still smells like strawberry pound cake. So I'm gonna say what I always say about this fragrance. This to me smells like almost like a strawberry cheesecake. Um, there's definitely like a creaminess and a sweet strawberry. It's just amazing. It's strawberries and cream. You just can't, can't beat that. It does not smell like a strawberry pound cake to me, and I know other people say the same thing, so I can't be too crazy here, but um, yeah, love this scent. So good. And again, this one performed, I know it looks crappy and junky, but um, I don't, I didn't really get any soot with this. Um, yeah, it just, it did pretty well. So not very often that I can say that about a Bath and Body Works candle, but today I can, so. Um, I had to replace a bulb in one of my Scentsy warmers. I'm gonna move the camera here. That Scentsy warmer. Um, I had my youngest niece here for a sleepover for her first sleepover with Auntie um, two weekends ago now, Easter weekend. And uh, I was, my intention was to not have any fragrance going while she was here because I just didn't know if she would be sensitive being so young. And, um, but she did want to see all the warmers, of course, and she kept going around and turning them all on and talking about how pretty they were. And as soon as she turned that one on, it wasn't, the, the bulb was done, and which is very strange because that blue bulb that's in there, that is the most recent warmer that I've replaced a bulb in. So it's odd to me that it was the first one to die, but whatever. So yeah, replaced it with another blue bulb just because I recently painted my living room a very pale baby blue and I don't know, I'm just liking the vibe in here. So yeah, there's the lid for that candle. Clearly the lid that's on it is not correct. Um, I recently took out of my car, this is an Atlantic Air car bar. I'm sorry that it is so dark in here. I actually have a light on too, but it's really dark in here, I apologize. Um, this totally still has scent in it. <laughs> Um, not sure why I took this out because now that I'm smelling it, it's still quite strong. I paired this with a an Atlantic Air scent circle. I think I threw the scent circle away, but uh, yeah, this still has some scent to it. So I might throw it in my couch or something just to use up what's left of it. Atlantic Air is beautiful. It's clean, so, sort of floral, but it doesn't, my nose doesn't get like floral. It just gets clean, fresh air a really nice ozone type fragrance. And for an airy scent, Atlantic Air is a good performer. I just, I can't say enough about it. You guys have heard me rave about that scent 
every time it's been in the catalog and then I complain every time they take it out. I just, it's, it's my jam. So I would love Atlantic Air in body care and laundry. I just would. Um, I took this out of my Scentsy Club. Are we going to focus from the International Wax Collection? No, we're not going to focus. Maybe because it's so dark in here. Pacific Sandalwood. Um, this is another one I've talked a lot about because I kept debating taking it out of my club because it was basically scentless, but the scent I do get from it is absolutely beautiful. I get like a spun sugar vanilla sandalwood from this. Oh, it's just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. And here's the funny thing. Now that I've taken it out of my club, I mean, I have a few bars in my stash and they're quite juicy. Um, this one smelled much stronger. <laughs> After being on the fence about whether or not to keep it in my club because it was so, so weak, now I can smell it now that I've taken it out of my club. That's okay. It is what it is. Um, beautiful, beautiful scent. I warmed from the most recent Bring Back My Bar. I think this was in a Bring Back My Bar. Yes, it was. Aussie Plum. I had warmed this years ago and I enjoyed it. Now, this was a very interesting scent. In the clamshell, I wasn't super excited. So I took it out of my club when I smelled it on cold and then I warmed it and it's this scent is much, much nicer when it's warming and it was a decent performer. I'd say like a medium strength and throw, but it lasted. Not going to lie. If this came back, I would probably get some more. I ended up really enjoying this. I do kind of regret taking it out of my club because I wouldn't mind another bar or two in my stash. Um, in my bedroom and bathroom, I got through one of my beloved OG scents, White Tea and Cactus. I used to love this in the counter clean. It's just, it's super fresh, super clean. Great bedroom scent, very strong, good performer. <clears throat> I did take this out of my club, I'm pretty sure. Only because... Yes, I love it, and it used to be one of my very favorite fragrances, but there's just so much more that's come out since this. Like, if I had to pick between this and aloe water and cucumber, I would now pick aloe water and cucumber, but before that was an option, and this was, there was no aloe water and cucumber, I would have stuck with this, so. There's just other scents that I love as much or more, so I was okay to let that, let that one go. I warmed through one of my many, many bars of Pink Haze. This uh, fine Pink Haze goes juicy really quickly and that the clam goes yellow very quickly. There must be vanilla in this scent because I find vanilla based scents turn the clam shallow, like a uh, discolored, like yellow. But um, this is beautiful, good performer. It's like a cotton candy. I think it's supposed to be like berries and marshmallow. Oh, it's so good. Um, yeah, I want to smell like pink haze. I want pink haze in all the things. It just is what it is. I am team pink haze over sugar. I enjoy sugar, but I'm obsessed with pink haze. Pink haze has been in my club for a long time. Uh, let's talk about peach nectar. This is another scent that I love, but I've always found, I just wish it was stronger. So what I've been doing is every, like, I think this is maybe the third summer it's been out. But so for the past few years, what I've done is I get a couple for my stash every spring, summer, and I save them for the following spring, summer. So this definitely was not purchased recently. It would have been purchased probably last year. And you can tell by how juicy this clamshell is because I find that curing Scentsy bars makes them stronger and last longer. Now I'm sure if I let this cure for like 10 years or something, that wouldn't be the case, but I will tell you, this did perform much better than when it was, when I've warmed new bars of pink peach nectar. So I do think there is something to that. Leave me a comment below if you agree or disagree. I would love to know. This is just straight up Literally, it smells like peach nectar. If you bought, sorry, my timer, my laundry's done. Um, if you bought a peach nectar at the grocery store to drink, you know, like a sweet syrupy peach nectar, that's what this is. I know there is a floral in it, but luckily to me, I don't really get that to my nose. I love this 
scent. Again, I wish it was stronger, but this one performed pretty good because it's at least a year old. Um, I'm just finishing off in my bedroom that my, I believe this is my first bar ever of palm trees and ocean breeze. I'm quite sure that I warmed a sample of it um, in a whiff box a couple years ago. But anyway, never purchased a bar of it. Have this going in both of my bedroom warmers right now. I do enjoy this. I see why people go crazy for palm trees and ocean breeze. It's, it's nice. But I just don't think it's like necessarily anything to write home about. I don't know. I love my fresh clean scents. You guys know that. But I don't know. I feel like a lot of scentsies, fresh clean scents smell similar. Like to me, this isn't that far off of um, like make a splash. It's kind of a similar vibe. Uh, what's the other one? Iridescent Pearl, and then the new version of Iridescent Pearl, Shoreline Drive, is that what it's called? I'm warming that in the bathroom right now. I don't know, they're all just super similar to me, so it's not like that is something I would put in my club or anything, but in the last bar from the Easter collection, and I always, you guys know I saved the best for last, um, Raspberry Lollipop. So at the moment, this is the only bar from the Easter collection that has remained in my club. I love, love, love this scent. It literally smells like a raspberry Jolly Rancher or a raspberry lollipop. Um, I wish it were stronger. <laughs> so I did get like a light strength and throw from this. I could smell it, but I do wish it was stronger. So I am going to keep this in my club. I think I put it in my quarterly. Um, and I will build up some bars and keep them on hand to cure. So I don't know that I would warm another bar of this this summer, unfortunately, because I would like to get my future bars and put them in my stash and then let them sit for a bit and hopefully get stronger. But yeah, again, my main complaint is I wish it was stronger, but it, it does, it literally smells like raspberry lollipop. No complaints there, so good. Now, last but not least, and currently I am warming this in this warmer over here and a warmer behind me. Gonna focus, maybe, no. Mad for Melon. This was new, I want to say last spring summer catalog. It is a floral melon. And typically that wouldn't be my thing, but I love melon enough that I did give it a try when it first came out. And I thought, you know what? I would definitely repurchase. This is the perfect spring scent. This smells like spring. And this is a performer, dang. Now this kind of floral I, I can do. It's definitely as much floral as it is fruity melon, but for some reason it works. Is this club worthy? No. Could I live without it? Yes. But if this came back next year, I probably would grab another bar. Yeah, it's a good one and a really good performer. So that's that. I am going to move y'all real quick so you can see the big picture. And that's what I finished up the second half of April, 2022. Where the hell is time going? Like I, 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 I honestly, I don't know. It's just crazy to me. Time is just flying on by guys. I don't know. I know I say this a lot, but it's how I feel. So yeah, that's what I got through. I have quite the stash in my melting basket to get through this spring and summer. So I am just plowing away and loving every minute of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more. Hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss any upcoming uploads. All right, thanks again. Y'all are the best. And until next time, I hope you all have a wonderfully scented day. Bye.